Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel La Modelist. Today I am thrilled to share with you a pattern making tutorial for the iconic David Coma Empire Top, a design that has captivated my heart for many many years. Do you remember when Scarlett Johansson, the renowned Black Widow herself, graced the stage at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019? She absolutely rocked this jumpsuit, leaving a lasting impression on all of us. The beauty of this design lies in its ability to be simultaneously bold and attention-grabbing while maintaining a minimalist and simple aesthetic. So stay tuned as I guide you through the process of recreating this stunning piece. So let's dive in and bring this beloved design to life. To start off, trace your back and front bodice on your pattern paper. And let's work on the front bodice first. By the way, I mark the halfway of the front armhole. And if you have noticed, both waist and shoulder darts end exactly at the bust point or apex. From the bust point or apex, mark out your bust radius. And now close the shoulder dart. And keep the waist start open. From the bust radius at waist start, mark out the fades of an inch or one centimeter each side. And redraw the waist start. From side seam at underarm, mark in 3 eighths to 4 eighths of an inch and square in a diagonal line blending towards the waist. From neck dip, mark in 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 centimeters. And from center front neck, mark down 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters. Next, connect these two marks, redrawing the front neckline. Next, find the halfway of the new front neckline and mark. From the halfway of the new front neckline, square a diagonal line going towards the bust point or apex. And from the halfway, Mark in 2 eighths of an inch or 0 0.6 centimeter. And square another line towards the bust point or apex. Next, slash one of the lines until bust point and close this contour permanently with a tape. And redraw again the front neckline. From shoulder dip, mark in 1 to 8 inches or 3.1 centimeters. From this mark, redraw the front armhole. From the halfway of armhole, square in a diagonal line towards bust point or apex. And from the halfway, mark down to eighths of an inch or 0 0.6 centimeter. And square in another diagonal line towards the bust point or apex. And slash one of the lines and permanently close the contour with a tape. And redraw the front armhole. 
from the shoulder bust line at shoulder level, mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm. And from this mark, redraw the shoulder level. So these are the contours for the front bodice. So let's move on. From bust line at center front, mark down 1 to 8 inches or 3.1 centimeters. From underarm at side seam, mark down 1 6 8 inches or 4.4 centimeters. By the way, we will connect these marks at the empire line or empire contour. First, draw a curved line with the shape of a brassiere for the frontal view. And an inverted S-shaped curved line for the side. Both curve lines should end at the empire line or contour. And this is the front midriff pattern. Next, cut out the midriff and connect both patterns making a one new pattern for the midriff. And smoothen the waistline. Label the grain line. Label it as unfold. And label it as front midriff. Next, from the bust start, mark out 1 4 8 inches or 3.8 centimeters. From this mark, square in a diagonal line towards the bust point. Slash this new line until the bust point and close the old bust start and tape it in place. And this is the new bust start. Next, tape in a new paper at the underbust. At the old bust start, redraw this part to blend in the lines. From the old bust start line, mark down to eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm. And redraw the underbust following the previous shape. Next, from the bust point, mark out 6 eighths of an inch or 2 cm for the new bust point and redraw the new bust start. Next, temporarily close the start and cut at the underbust. And cut out the rest of the contour and the reshapings at the armhole and neckline. And label the green line, unfold, and the pattern description. And do not forget to notch the important marks. For the back, from bust line, mark out 2 8 of an inch or 0.6 cm at the waist start each side. And square diagonal lines blending at the waist.
by the way, extend the waist start until the chest line. And continue redrawing the dart. From side seam at underarm, mark in 3 eighths to 4 eighths of an inch and square in a diagonal line blending towards the waist. Next from neck tip, mark in 4 eighths of an inch or 1.27 centimeters. And from center back, mark down 6 eighths of an inch or 2 centimeters. Next, connect these two marks, redrawing the back neckline. Next, from shoulder tip, mark in 1 to 8 inches or 3.1 centimeters. And from this mark, redraw the back armhole. Next, from shoulder dart at shoulder level, Mark down 1 8 of an inch or 0.3 cm each side. From these marks, redraw the back shoulder level. Next, from center back at waist, mark in 2 8 of an inch or 0.6 cm. And from this mark, square in a diagonal line towards the chest line at center back. Next, find the halfway measurement of the back armhole and mark. From this mark, square in a line towards the end of the waist start at the chest line. From the halfway of the back armhole, Mark up the weight of an inch or 0.6 cm and square in another line towards the chest line at the dart. Slash one of the lines and slash at the waist dart at the middle. And permanently close the contour at the armhole with the tape. And reach out the back armhole. By the way, do not forget to label the important descriptions like the grain line and etc. And always double check if the side seams are the same in measurement. Mend and blend if necessary. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to recreate the David comma Empire top. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, La Modelist, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys again on the part 2 of this tutorial. A bientôt!